I don't hate Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church the way most people do. One of the biggest reasons for this is because I actually have identification with them. I'm not a homophobic person, so that's not my identification. I'm not a fundamentalist, that's not my identification. I'm not a Christian, that's not my identification. Like them, I have a lot of venom in me, and I have manifested it in the ways they have. Right now, I'm doing very intensive soul searching. I want to improve myself and achieve my goals. Right now, I'm focusing, zooming in on Westboro Baptist Church because it represents a layer of my soul I am seeking to remove, the moral crusader level of my soul. This level of the soul is ineffective and it prevents me from getting what I want. I see myself in Fred Phelps in Westboro Baptist Church, thus I can't hate them. And I would like to read you a position paper from the autonomy party, the political party I have. And this represents my views since I am a member of the autonomy party, a founder in fact, and thus the changes I make in my personal life reflect the party. As you can see, I have some of the same themes as Fred Phelps does, and this was before I even cared two wits about Fred Phelps. I talk about how you're either 100% against abortion and alcohol or 100% for it, and those who are not doing anything about it are the opposite. Take a close look at what I write and see the comparisons, and this is why I need to change. I want to be an iconoclast a revered iconoclast and a moral crusader is not a revered iconoclast. This next position paper is analogous to Westboro Baptist Church's whole the military promotes homosexuality. They are essentially arguing by being inactive they are actively the opposite of what they stand for. And this is what I argued here. Autonomy Party Paper 118 Best of Friends The Murderous Abortion Doctor and the Police Officer by Andrew Bouchard One of the murderous abortion doctor's best friends is a police officer. The police officer exists to make the job of the murderous abortion doctors as easy as possible. Essentially, every police officer supports abortion doctors murdering. In fact, a pro-life cop is really an oxymoron. Whether the police officer shakes the bloody hand of an abortion doctor or not, a fact remains that few so powerfully serve to protect the murderous abortion doctor than the police officer. Few yield so much power and force to defend the abortion doctor's murder at all costs. If you disagree with this, you are actually thinking police officers are fair and show no favoritism towards murderous abortion doctors. Just try to stop an abortion doctor from murdering and you will see how pro-life the police officer really is. Of course, by virtue of being a police officer, one cannot truly be pro-life. By virtue of being a police officer, one is at least implicitly suggesting they fully support the murderous abortion doctor's bloody practice. When the murderous abortion doctor smiles with glee, he or she is smiling because they can rest assured that when push comes to shove, the police officer will defend them just the way best friends do. Police officers pledge their loyalty to the murderous abortion doctor, not to you. When police officers shake the hands of their best friends, the murderous abortion doctors, the bloody residue of the mass murder abortion doctor gets splattered on their hands. What's wrong with these cops? The murderous abortion doctors know in their hearts that come hell or high water they can rely on the police officer. The trustworthiness is what makes police officers so loved by murderous abortion doctors. Who could ask for more from a friend? Some think abortion doctors are cool dudes and dudettes. But are they really cool if police officers are their major supporters? The really cool ones 
are the pro-life activists because they rebel against the nerdy, rule-loving police officers who are the best friends of the abortion doctors. The police officer and the abortion doctor might even be friends forever. We need new enforcers of our law. We need to bring down both the murderous abortion doctor and their tried and true best friends, the police officers. www.autonomyparty.com